Plow pose, halasana. Watching people perform the position reveals great variation in their movement patterns. When the hamstrings are short, exercisers tend to circumvent their regions of limited movement in the hip joints and transfer the movement to other places, flexion of the lumbar vertebrae in the lower back and heightened pressure on the neck region. We will present suitable adaptations that will make and facilitate gradual and progressive exercising. The erector spiny muscles stretch when the spine is flexed. The hamstrings stretch with hip flexion. Here we see strong stretching of the erector spiny muscles. If we raise our legs in the air, we will cause massive activation of the erector spiny with pressure on the lumbar and cervical vertebrae. In a chain reaction, the weight of the legs passes to the vertebral column. Problem one is keeping our legs in the air when the hamstring muscles are shortened. Shortening of the hamstring muscles causes the legs to be raised. The result is load on the lower back and the nape. Solution one is to bend the knees. Bending knees reduces tension from the hamstrings and enables the legs to be supported by the floor. Solution two is to place the legs on an elevated surface. And solution three is to increase the flexibility of the hamstring muscles by performing preparatory exercises. Preparatory exercises number one. Lying on the back, raise a straight leg and pull it using a rubber band or a strap. Preparatory exercise number two. Full sitting position, one leg straight, the other flexed, arm support behind the back, pushing the floor. Preparatory exercise number three. Full sitting position on elevation, a pillow. Arm support on a stool. Preparatory exercise number four. Performing the movement using a rubber band or a strap. Problem two involves holding our legs in the air due to functional rigidity in the lower back muscles or the neck muscles. The result is an inability to bend the vertebral column. Solution one is to bend the knees. Bending knees reduces tension from the hamstrings and enables the legs to be supported by the floor. Solution two is to place the legs on an elevated surface. Problem three is difficulty in crossing hands and adducting the shoulder blades because of shortened pectoralis muscles or rigidity in the shoulder girdle. Possible solutions include preparatory exercises and adaptations such as abducting the arms or using a belt, working to increase flexibility of the pectoralis muscles and softening the joints.